this session we will discuss how we can able to convert a context free grammar into Griebeck normal form. Let's start the session. A context free grammar is known as Griebeck normal form. If the production rule are of the form A will give you A alpha where A is a terminal and alpha can be any string over terminal and non terminal means the production rule are of the form terminal followed by any number of terminal and non terminal. Now we will discuss how we can able to convert a CFG context free grammar into Griebeck normal form. So in the first step we will convert CFG into CNF that is CNF will consist of the production rule a non terminal will give you two non terminal or a non terminal will give you single terminal. In the second step we will rename the non terminal as their order of appearance. If the first non terminal is let's say S we will denote it by A1. Let's suppose the second non terminal is A we will denote it by A2. Let's suppose third non terminal is B we will denote it by A3. But remember one thing always rename these non terminal in their order of appearance. In the third step we will ensure that the production rule satisfy this condition given a i will give you a j x so i must be less than j if i is greater than equal to j we need to change these rules so that it will be converted into the specified form that is i is less than j then we can remove left recursion we had already discussed that if a non terminal will give you same non terminal that is known as left recursion so we need to remove left recursion and in the last step we will convert this into Griebeck normal form that is a will give you a alpha where a is a terminal followed by any number of terminal and non terminal we will start our discussion with help of one example let's suppose s will give you c a or b b b will give you b or s b c will give you b a will give you a so in the first step we will convert the cfg into cnf but the given production rules are already given in cnf these are two non terminal two non terminal two non terminal single terminal single terminal single terminal so given production rule are already in cnf in the second step we will rename the non terminal s by a1 c by a2 a by a3 b by a4 and the production rule will be converted into a1 will give you a2 a3 or a4 a4 b that is a4 a4 will give you b s that is a1 b that is s4 c that is a2 will give you b and a is a3 a3 will give you a in the third step we will ensure that a i will give you a j x and i is less than j so a1 will give you a2 a3 i is 1 j is 2 subscript of first non terminal so it satisfy our condition second production is a1 will give you a4 a4 so i is 1 j is 4 it's again satisfy our condition i is less than j a4 will give you b this is already in gnf a4 will give you a1 a4 here i is 4 j is 1 it is not satisfying our condition so we need to change this production rule a2 will give you b it is already in gnf a3 will give you a already in gnf now only the production rule a4 will give you a1 a4 is not satisfying our condition so we will replace the production rule of a1 that is a2 a3 a4 a4 in the right hand side of a4 production rule so a4 will become a2 a3 a4 or a4 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 now again we will check whether condition i is less than j is satisfied or not 
so i is 4 j is 2 again the condition is not satisfying i is 4 j is also 4 this is the case of left recursion so first we will change this rule so that it will satisfy our condition i is less than j so a4 a2 will give you b so we will write down b a3 a4 now it is already in gnf a4 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 now if a same known terminal is appearing as the first symbol in the right hand side like a will give you a alpha or beta we will call it as left recursion so in the fourth step we will remove left recursion and we will replace a by beta a dash a dash will give you alpha a dash or null so in the fourth step we will observe a1 will give you a2 a3 or a4 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 will give you b a3 a4 and a4 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 as well as we have a production rule of b a2 will give you b a3 will give you e now we will remove left recursion so a4 is giving us b a3 a4 or b or a4 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 so if a will give you a alpha or beta we can remove left recursion using a will give you beta a dash and a dash can give you alpha a dash or null so here a is a4 so it is a this one is alpha this is beta 1 and this is beta 2 so if beta 1 or beta 2 are presenting so we will write down beta 1 a dash beta 2 a dash so we will write down a4 will give you b a3 a4 a dash b a dash and a dash can give you a4 a4 a dash or null so after removal of left recursion we will get these production rules so after removal of left recursion we will get a1 will give you a2 a3 or a4 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 will give you b a3 a4 a dash or b a dash a dash will give you a4 a4 a dash or null a2 will give you b and a3 will give you a in the fifth step we will convert the production rule into gnf that is a production rule can give you a terminal followed by any number of terminal or non-terminal so if you will put the value of a2 that is b a3 so we will get this into gnf b a3 and by putting the value of a4 over here we will get b a3 a4 a dash a4 or b a dash a4 a4 will give you b a3 a4 a dash already in gnf b a dash a2 will give you b a3 will give you a and a dash will give you a4 a4 a dash or null after removal of null production we will get a dash will give you a4 a4 a dash and if we will replace null in place of a dash we will get a4 a4 and by putting value of a4 a4 we will convert this into gnf so a dash will give you we will put value of a4 that is b a3 a4 a dash followed by a4 a dash or b a dash followed by a4 a dash now again we will write down value of a4 that is b a3 a4 a dash followed by a4 now this will represent the equivalent gnf grammar in the next session we will discuss one additional problem to convert a cfg into gnf thanks for watching this session